Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. The Three Commandments is possibly one of the most bizarre games I've ever played in my life. It is an exercise in frustration to me. And it's really, it seems more like an exercise in if I put a game out, will people buy it regardless of what it is? And are there some people who pretend like there's a game here? to validate their purchase. I feel like it's almost like a social experience that's happening here. I mean, you literally pick up these cards and you don't know what they say, and you just fumble around the board moving things, hoping you will score points, but there's also a card that will score you negative points if you accidentally do those. Oh, I put my hands on the table and I got negative points, but I don't know that's what I did to get those negative points. I thought I was moving the black thing one space into a triangle or a hexagon. So then I got to figure out by doing what I did over and over. Okay, so this is what I did. And it's just harebrained. And if you know the cards, you kind of know what they're going for. And the rules even recommend you look at the cards a little bit before you play. Not necessarily the cards that you're particularly going to be utilizing, but just kind of know what's in the deck. I cannot believe this game was printed. And Friedman Freese is one of my favorite, favorite designers. I love a lot of his games. And pretty much when he brings a game out, I'm willing to take a chance on it. Um, which is kind of why I got this game. But this has some other people's names on it that I'm not familiar with. Um, well, I am familiar with, but not in this context. The Lamont Brothers. Um, I'm not sure what they were thinking with this game. It is terrible. I, I, even, I, even, I even hesitate to call it a game. And I don't want to be overly negative. It's not really what I want to do here. But I need to be honest with myself that I just can't imagine somebody playing this exercise of frustration and thinking it's fun. Um, you're just randomly moving pieces around the board and hoping that it scores your point. That's literally it. And who does that the best? And I guess there's some context to catching on to what's scoring, but really that might be just knowing the cards. So if I've played this 10 times, and please, let's not even pretend like that world exists where I've played this 10 times, and you've played it zero, I'm at a, a huge advance. I know what the cards look like and what they could possibly be. Put my hands on tables, put, use my left hand, uh... Use a triangle, hexagons, put four in a space. <sighs> it's not good, my friends. This is an instant purge. Um, no, purge. Here are the components for the Three Commandments. You're going to have a very oversized box for a Freedom and Freeze game. Uh, the artwork on it is kind of humorous. You're going to open up, you're going to get some advertisements straight out of 2005, maybe? I don't know. And then you're going to get a rule book, which I'm surprised you have rules in this game. But here they sit. It kind of folds out and comes back in. You are going to get a board. Let me show you what this looks like. You got great artwork on the back of the board. Never understood why they do this. You can never look at it. This is your very attractive board here. Doesn't this make you just want to go play this board game? Look at this. A circle with lines. You're going to get some of the wackiest components you're going to see. And when you see how you play this game, you're going to have some black, brown, and white cylinders. These are wood. Very nice. Sure. You're going to get a white circle. <laughs> Isn't that great? number of those. You're going to get some standees. 
you're going to get score sheets, plenty of these, much more than you'll ever want to use. And then you're going to get some cards. Let me show you what some of these cards look like. So, ooh, isn't these drawings wacky? Look at that. Ooh, skeletons. Yikes. You can get a number of cards. Let me show you what they look like on the other side. Number of errors with at least one black artifact. Yeah, number of errors with at least one brown artifact. A blank one, a blank one, a blank one, a blank one. Ooh, lots of blanks. If you move the artifact in circles, if you use both your hands, if you call the high priestess animal names, if you talk, if you swear. Okay. <laughs> Let me show you some more cards. This is going to blow your mind. Blank cards, blank cards. Okay. If you position two artifacts, they touch each other. If the center contains an even number of artifacts, if the target area contains the highest number of artifacts, if no artifacts are in the outer ring. Number, so this, you know, it's just things that you will do. Um, number of colors in the target area. It'll make more sense when you kind of see how the game is played, but the cards are good quality. I mean, everything here is good quality. The board is kind of boring. The score sheet, oh my gosh, it's just weird. And, I mean, these are the components for the game. If this draws you in, you're like, oh my gosh, these components, I want to play this game. This is Three Commandments. The rule book for this game is pretty much indecipherable. I'm not even sure that... I'm not sure I got everything right, people. But I don't think it matters with this game. Um, the rules are just terrible. I can't believe the rules explain this game. I can't believe this is what they were after at all. Um, no. I mean, the rules are even hard to read with the font and the coloring that they used. It's not good. Not good here. Okay, what's going to happen here is one player is going to be the High Priestess. She's going to take this card and she's going to put these Destiny cards down on the deck. She's going to take two cards from each of the deck. Oh, those are the blank ones. Hold on. She's going to take two cards and then two cards from here. And she's going to pick one of them to be taboo, and two of them are going to gain car karma, and one's going to go back in the box. So she'll choose one to be karma and one to be, or two to be karma. And those will be secret from the other players. And then what's going to happen, you'll see these cards says if the starting area is a triangle. If there are more or one area is containing exactly four artifacts. If you use your left hand. So what the other player is going to do, and, and the priestess is going to keep score and give you points... And let's say if you use your left hand is a negative point. Let's just say that's taboo. So you're going to lose points for that. You're going to gain points for the other two. Starting area is a triangle. Here's a triangle. If there are one or more areas, contain exactly four artifacts. So right now, no area has four artifacts. So what the novices are going to do on their turn, tell me if this sounds like fun to you, is uh, on each they're taking an artifact from the board and move it to somewhere on the board. So you just pick this up and you move it. If that happens to score points, she's going to start writing down points. Oh, something about this. We know, because I told you the answer. There were four in an area. Which there is one, two, three, four. And you just move here. Oh, I didn't get any points. Hmm. But I did use my left hand. I lost points. What was it about? Was it two of them together? Maybe it was brown and light brown? Is that what did it? Hmm. Let me see. I lost points! Oh, it has to be because there's two of them. Hmm. I won't do that again. I lost points! What is it that I did? Oh, was it that I used my left hand? It could just have been if you offend another novice. It could have been if you clear... If you clean an artifact. What the heck would I clean it for? If you push one. Push one like this? If your hair plays a role during your turn. What?! If you behave nicely towards the high priestess. So if I just said, hey, would you like something to drink? I would get a point. But how would I know that? If you do not touch the table with your hands. What? So you're just kind of guessing, moving these things around your turn until you start getting points. Okay? 
that's how it that's how it goes and you continue to do that until somebody reaches 20 karma when somebody reaches 20 karma then they win the game that is the game if that seems like fun to you this is your game should buy this game absolutely nobody if I have to pick somebody which I always force myself in this section to pick somebody p please play this before you buy it please please unless it's cheap or it's a gag gift or you just really like this abstract guessing and maybe that's you maybe, maybe you do like this maybe this appeals to somebody maybe people are waiting for the fourth commandment so we can have the sequel to this game I don't want to play it with you. Good luck finding somebody to play the fourth commandment with, let alone the three commandments. It's not good at all. Um, it's not even like a game that could have been good, like a Mega Man. It just isn't good. I'm not even sure why they thought this was a good idea. Um, and for those of you that love this game and like this game, I stand corrected. That's fine. You, you can like whatever game you like. I can't find something. I don't even like the cards. They're just generic. The artwork is kind of weird. The rules are bad. It's got a scoring pad, which is odd. It's a guessing game. It's the components are weird. I mean, they serve the purpose, but why is it a black cylinder? What exactly am I doing here? They have some kind of explanation in the rule book. It makes no sense. It's it's a mess. It's a complete mess. Who 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 did this get to that thought this was a good idea? Um, I don't know why Rio Grande thought this was going to sell games. Is it just the names in the box, perhaps? I don't know. Skip this one, guys. It, it, if you're thinking about getting this as like, fun to you, please try before you buy it. Absolute mess. Purge.